Henry was cross. It just isn't right. Why should Thomas get to pull the Sodor Day special while I have to be away on the mainland? Well, Henry, a trip to the mainland is a job better suited for us. I suppose, but Thomas gets almost every special every year. I think someone's a little jealous. I'm not jealous. Well, maybe a little. But he's so entitled. And he never appreciates all he has going for him. With Thomas, nothing's ever going to change. I'm sorry. Who are we talking about? Okay, so not everyone knows who Thomas is. Thomas is a tank engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. It's no secret that I haven't talked about Thomas much, though some see him as the center of his own universe. Hello, Thomas? Hi, Rosie. There's a sort of magnetism about him that no one can explain. Uh, are you all okay? And while Thomas has many good qualities, he can be over-eager, a bit stubborn, and often doesn't do as he's told. Very true. Very true indeed. Yet, somehow, Thomas not doing what he's told to do brands him both a nuisance and a hero. If he didn't tell me about my special job, I never would have found King Godred's crown. If he didn't help the steam engines and diesels work together, I'd have nowhere to land. If he hadn't told Victor my story, I would have hid away forever. Great Waterton would be the town time forgot. I would be lost and never found. It's true. There'd be no shining time for anyone without Thomas. Suffice to say, Thomas's greatest flaw often lends itself to many a good thing. He's a really useful engine, you know? But there was one particular day where Thomas's greatest flaw was put to the test, and that was the day his destiny was foretold. Wouldn't you say? Well, what? Reneas, what's all this? We're not double-heading today. Yeah, yes, we are. Don't you remember? You told me yesterday your pistons were worn out and you needed help with your first train. I never said... Shh, shh. But I... Reneas, for goodness sake, what's gotten into you? Scarloe! We said we'd tell the Thing Controller about Proteus and the Stolen Maps as soon as possible. It's been weeks and we still haven't said a word. Oh, yes. But I never said we talked to the Thing Controller. I said we talked to Millie. Ugh, very well. But how can we ask Millie about the maps without asking his permission to travel to Ulfstead Castle first? Hmm? Hmm? Uh... Well, that's your problem. You think too much. I'd say it's wiser to sort this sooner rather than later. <laughs> hey, if we had it your way, I bet it would take years to unravel all these conspiracies. Very funny. It's Mrs. Sam! She'll know where we can find him! Reneas, wait! We have to be tactful! Let me... <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am! Ma One at a time. I'll, I'll go. go. Oh, oh, after, after you. you. Stop, Stop it! it. 
No, no you, you stop, stop it. it. <laughs> well, this isn't working. Scarloe? Mom, we, uh, we need to... We need to speak to the thing controller as soon as possible. Uh, do you know where he is? He's in physical therapy. Physical therapy? Yes. He's got to get that ruddy cast off sometime. It's been far too long. Oh, phew. Well then, whatever you have to say must be urgent. I'll make sure he speaks to both of you when he's back, but I'll have you know that he's ours today. So if this has anything to do with swashbuckling adventures or sinister forces, please keep our family out of it. Meanwhile, Thomas's latest special was carrying on as usual, establishing a sense of normalcy before something completely outlandish happened. Just look at all these party supplies for the carnival! Oh, I've never had a special like this before. I'd say you have, Thomas. <laughs> well then, I guess my latest special will be a uh, return to form. And we're back. Good to hear. Any plans? None at the moment. No adventuring, I assume? I don't plan on it. Though, admittedly, I suppose that's not how it works. Now then, where's my ride? Oh, you mean this? Madge. I know, I know. I'll miss carrying you around, but I'm sure you miss the exercise more. Thank you very much. He's leaving now. What was all that about? That, my friend, was a marital problem. A marital problem? You know, a problem. In a marriage? Mm, marriage? <laughs> marriage is a union between two partners. Like Mighty Mac? Reneus, I know you know what marriage is. Aren't they married? Ooh, they might as well be. <laughs> I'm just pulling your wheels. <laughs> but this is absurd. Has our search for answers seriously been thwarted by an indignation of the missus? Marriage is a dual gauge track, Reneus. What are you two talking about? Ow! Can we tell him? No. Why not? Why not? Thomas can't keep a secret to save a life. <laughs> You sure about that? Where are you going, Thomas? Always changing the subject. Shh. I'm taking the special load to the carnival. Well, now that's a very special job. You'd best be on your way then. Yes, and let us know if you unravel any conspiracies or encounter anything supernatural. Uh, I think we have to go, Reneus. Bye, Thomas! Hmm, they've both been acting very strangely. On his way to the Great Waterton Fairgrounds, Thomas would cross paths with the thin controller on his bicycle, though they wouldn't be alone. There was something sinister, and something supernatural, hiding in the hills. Hello, Thin Controller! Hello, Thomas! Cinder 
Dust and ashes? What was that? It's those silly pigeon hunters, I suspect. Ugh, they never read the signs. Oh my, do you think it's safe to carry on? Who knows? Probably. Well, that makes me feel better. We'll go slowly, Thomas, and make a lot of noise. That should keep those silly hunters away. We can't go too slowly, and I'll be late for my special. are here I am yes you should have taken Madge we waited too long for you and now we're going to be late 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 for what the carnival darling it's so door day you promised you'd go with us oh yes uh, of course you wouldn't want to miss my show would you Well, there's no use fussing the day away when there's work to be done. When we see the Thin Controller next, that's when we'll ask him about talking to Millie. Right. I know you're unsure about this, but please promise you'll tell him the next time you see him. I... I promise. Oh, thank you, my old friend. See you tonight. That's what the ghost is trying to tell me all along. To stay out of it. Sodor Day is usually in March, but if you would ask the Fat Controller, the holiday can also be declared to honor a current event. This Sodor Day, however, was more likely slated to draw attention from the shameful plug turned lumberjack riot from weeks prior. While the family was having a lovely time, the Thin Controller couldn't help but feel anxious. It always seemed like someone was watching him. Isn't it nice to be out of the thick of it for once? Spending some quality time? Yes, indeed. I oh, no, you don't! Huh? <laughs> my apologies. I thought you were making an attempt on my life. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm not even cleaning. I'm just spreading the grit around. What on earth was all that about? Look out! <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought that was gunfire. Gunfire? Oh, please. Only a fool would think you could be shot out here. Oh, why do we have to go so slow? Because I don't want to get shot at, Thomas. We're not going to get shot at. Tell that to Mighty Mac. They were being silly. <laughs> this is silly. Thomas, we're puffing through a forest making slow, pronounced movements to give others the impression that we are not, in fact, game birds. Silly is the only way to cope with the modern world spiraling into madness. Now that, that's just about all the silly I can take. It's not worth being late worrying about pigeon hunters. Are you sure? Come on, we're in the middle of the Waterton Wood. There's no danger here. I'm so 
sorry for being so anxious, my dear. Trouble always seems to find me. And you're just waiting to be found, I suppose. Uh, do we have to talk about this now? <gasps> Goodness me! What on earth was that? I don't know. I must have slipped. Are you alright? I'm fine. Though regrettably, I seem to have spilled bubble liquid all over the tracks leading to that tent. Oh no! I can't stop! Thomas! Oh no! We have to help. Do you really want to get involved? Or is this just the opportunity you've been waiting for? Hmm, I don't think he's very good at this. What is this place? Oh! Ow! Ah. Uh, I've been expecting you. You have? Oh yes. Though I didn't think you'd need help finding the door. Oh, sorry about that. Can I ask who you are? I'm a fortune teller. I can tell your future, and so much more. My future? Oh yes. But how... how can you do that? All I need is a deck, and I can show you. Hmm... Now, pick three cards. Uh... Oh. Well, tell me which cards call out to you, and I'll pick them for you. No. No. Yes. No, no, that one. Good. And the other one, there. Uh, there. That's it. That's good. And, and that one. Perfect. Now that you have chosen three cards, I will flip each one and tell you what it means. Right. Hmm. You're a leader, aren't you? A leader? Me? I'd say you are. You do have your own branch line, don't you? How did you know that? Oh. Now, the next card. Oh. You're going to see the world. The world? Quite a lot of it. Here, there, everywhere, and beyond. Me, all across the world. Across the universe. Oh dear, you'll be lost for quite some time, even without knowing it. Now, onto the third card. Is that... is that a... butterfly? Yes. And what does that mean? Change.
Big changes. Yes. Very big changes. Nothing will ever be the same. a lovely day as a family. Indeed. And yet, danger simply won't excuse itself from our lives. Why, just this morning, Scarloe and Reneus had a message for you. Fretting, as always. They did? Today was supposed to be special. Less talk about you and me, and more talk about us. This song goes out to my husband, who took some time away from his adventures to be a part of ours. Caught on the border of sin Never thought I'd be here again Clouded by the shadows of my mind Waiting for both sides to be aligned In the enterprise of hope So you couldn't tie a loose end Because of some confetti And some bubble barrels And I always thought the worst things came in threes You know, I'd say, uh Three strikes and he's out Three components with nine stages. Here's a little refresher. A part in my revenge, no matter how small, is a privilege. Because what I'm going to do to the Fat Controller's Railway is more than a perfect ending. It's more than a grand design. It's my creation. If I had taken that special, I wouldn't have crashed into a fortune teller's tent. Well, of course, Henry. You wouldn't need the gift of prophecy to tell us that. <laughs> it just wouldn't be Thomas's special without something going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Did the fortune teller actually tell you your fortune, Thomas? She did, Percy. She told me a lot of things. But well, one of the things she said was that there were going to be big changes. Wow! What kind of changes? She said I was going places. Places beyond Sodor. Beyond Sodor? Yes, and even across the universe. This is all very strange, Thomas. Do you believe the things she said? A little, but I feel silly for doing so. What do you think of all of this, Edward? Hmm... Sometimes, our own convictions can make things come true, Thomas, good or bad. You shouldn't take these theories so seriously. But even so, you don't need to worry. Change is perfectly natural. needed to tell me something yesterday. Was it urgent? Uh, uh, um, no, I don't think so. What was it then? Hmm, goodness, it may have slipped my mind. I... It was probably about the pigeon hunters. They're back. With a vengeance! Yes, that was it. The pigeon hunters have returned, sir. We'll need more of those signs. I'm going to clear my head for a while. For the rest of the day, Thomas ran his branch line, and the thin controller took a walk. They both had a lot to think about. 
Thomas's future felt uncertain, and the thin controller was struggling to leave his past behind. Eventually, these meditations and musings brought our number one heroes to a similar conclusion. I have to go back. Oh, no, no, no. This is my job, Thomas. No time, Henry. I have to talk to the... What? Oh, not again! Oh, no! I knew you'd be back. Oh, you have to tell me what it means. What? What means? How am I a leader? How am I going to see the world? And all these changes, what are they? I can't tell you that, Thomas. You'll have to see them for yourself. Oh. But I can tell you one more thing. Your destiny is intertwined with another. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Thin Controller. What are you doing here? Just being out and about. It's good to be back in action, as they say. And yet, it just doesn't feel the same. What do you mean? I suppose it means, even without that ruddy cast, I still haven't found my footing yet. Today, I feel like I don't have any feet at all. You'd be right to think so. No, no. What I mean is, I don't understand where I'm going to go, or who I'm going to be. You go lots of places, Thomas, because you're an engine. I thought it was that simple, but it might not be. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Do you remember when you saved that general and those soldiers from that fire? Yes, I do. Did you do that because someone told you you would? Hmm... Not really. No one told me to do those things, Thomas. They just sort of... happened. Do you think we have a say in anything we do? Is everything that's going to happen... going to happen? I don't know. But I suppose we'll find out someday. <sighs> Need me to take you home? That would be nice, Thomas. It was the first time in a long time that Thomas took the thin controller home and it wouldn't be the last. Hey, I know how we can solve the mystery of the stolen maps without getting the Thing Controller involved. I'm listening. Luke's slate run to Alpster Castle. Hmm, yes, of course. All we have to do is swap jobs with Luke, so we can talk to Millie about it. Or find a way for her to work at the quarry again. Less likely. Now, what about the ghost? I'm not sure about the ghost, Reneas. Part of me doesn't want to interfere with whatever its plans may be.
Scarlet Fire. Ba -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba. All right, that is good. Enterprising engines wrapped. That's exciting. Woo! But even so, there's no point in worrying. Change is natural, like puberty. Nobody really wants it, but look at what you get at the end. Yeah, think on it. This is Thomas in puberty, with pimply bits. Yeah. I hope that's good. Uh, I'm not really sure what you're looking for, but I, I think that's the role I was playing. Just kind of like a puppy cherry dude. Anyway, yeah, uh, cool. Even without knowing it, figures. <laughs> We can uh, pause it here if you need to take the call. No, I don't need to take it. I'll right, well, just wait for it to go. Yeah, make it, make it stop. <laughs> All right, birch beer break. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> and it's probably a sales call. Oh, uh, probably. Nobody calls me on that phone. <laughs> Nobody. You know, now that you mention it. No. This makes sense out of the whole two hearts burned together thing. I'm going to stop you right there. Let's just face it, Mighty. We're married. No. Come on, seriously, think about it. A marriage is a union between two partners, right? Right. And aren't we two partners forever conjoined for a common purpose in life? If we're married, then I want a divorce. Well, if we're getting a divorce, then who's getting custody of Ivo Hugh? Why do we have to fight? Quiet, Ivo. This double fairly is trying to single parent. No, you know what? You're just being selfish. Honestly, you're not thinking about me. You're not thinking about what I want. Shut up. In this relationship. You're just, you're just taking. All you're doing is taking from me. You know, I've given you... What are they arguing about now? I and is it your fault? Support, Don't look at me. Love, I'm not a marriage counselor. But that you ugly, 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 ugly little swoop of facial hair on your face. Or It's not maybe, ugly. Maybe that's... Uh, like a, a strange birth defect, like you so birth claim defect? it is, whatever. I'll give you the benefit you of the doubt. Point defect. is, it's ugly. Like, how how can you even look at yourself with that? Oh, wait, I mean, I when have you, you seen my really face? Look at yourself, we're, we're engines, but it's, it's, that's, that's not the point. The point is, it's ugly, but I support you through it. I always support, support you. All I give, give you is support. And what do you do? You, you, just, you just take from me and you just put me down and treat me like an idiot. Well, no more. You know what? Fine. No, I'm glad we're getting divorced. I'm honestly glad. I don't even care. Would someone be so kind as to saw us in half?